Boxes Lost Fragments is the sequel to Doors Paradox from Big Loop Studios. And Doors Paradox was one of my favourite puzzle games in the last four or five years. And it was less because the puzzles were really difficult to solve, because they weren't, they were quite easy, but I still felt brainy solving them. It was more around the fact that as you tried to unlock these doors and walk through portals, you felt like you were taming a mechanical beast or a magical beast in a way, because it was layers and layers and layers of tiny little mini puzzles and clues, like an escape room in a diorama fashion. And there was this clickety-clackety ASMR-ish satisfy- satisfaction mixed with Goonies booby trap. <laughs> and that's the best way how I can describe Doors Paradox. And it's that that Boxes Lost Fragments doubles down on further. Because instead of trying to open doors, you're now trying to open these mysterious boxes. These boxes are uniquely themed. There's 20 of them in the game, plus five additional hub world puzzles that act like mini escape rooms in themselves. And each one of these 20 boxes are uniquely and beautifully themed. And it means that even though you might be doing similar puzzles from boxes to boxes sometimes, they don't feel like they're identical because the theming of them and the style of them are vastly different. So there's one where the box turns into a train and goes round its own little train set. There's an Egyptian one with a pyramid that starts shooting out beams of lights everywhere. There's a couple where you go inside the box and there's magical portals inside portals and it takes you on a little weird journey somewhere. There's a musical one. There's a camera and film development one. Another sees you in a Greek amphitheatre. Another sees you riding a horse trying to crossbow a minotaur, for example. Um, There's one where it totally took me off guard and took you into a cam toy 3D puzzle platformer. And I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting boxes to take so many detours and directions. And it's the boxes where they do something really different outside of slider puzzles and connect the circuit puzzles that make you kind of go, wow, this is a real like puzzle variety fest. And it goes beyond the skin deep, beautiful graphical design and the intricate way how the boxes have been um, laid out so that you're constantly spinning them around, looking underneath, picking up objects and then examining them because sometimes you might find a key trapped inside like a gem or something like that. I just found the box design to be like 50 to 60 percent of my enjoyment of playing this game because as it just unfolds or explodes out or does magical and mysterious things oh it's just so satisfying and it scratches a somewhat perhaps unique itch to me but i cannot help but just be utterly transfixed by watching these mechanical little beasts feel like they're alive and yeah That's really what drew me into Boxes Lost Fragments, and it absolutely kept me there. As I said, whilst you'll be having lots of um, mini puzzles, like slider puzzles, connect the circuit puzzles, match symbols from like um, a light source or a, a piece of paper that you found or a code that you're trying to crack, everything is quite succinct. But the game also goes out of its way to try and help you too. There are two different help systems that you can dive into the first one is to show a hint of where to go next and you put on like this little mask and it starts to show like a little flashy spinny circle of where you need to go next to solve a puzzle because quite often with boxes you need to solve puzzles in a relatively straightforward um like a b c fashion And whilst you can go B, A, C, you still need to do A and B before C becomes truly unlocked so that you can progress the box. So sometimes you can start in the wrong place. And then some that's often where I used a hint, basically, was where I totally missed like a tiny screw somewhere that I could have pulled back or I'd not interrogated maybe a little mini shelf that I hadn't spotted because I thought it was part of the beautiful decor, for example. That's where I found those hints to be very, very helpful. You can, though, when you get into an intricate puzzle, choose to skip a puzzle and have it solve itself. And this can be really helpful if you particularly struggle with things like slider puzzles. I did test slider puzzles, uh, puzzles, sorry, with like every fibre of my being. 
I just can't do them with my brain. And whilst I was, shockingly, able to do quite a lot of them in Boxes Lost Fragments, there were one or two where I was just getting really annoyed right at the end of the game and I chose the skip puzzle option. I'm not proud of it, but I'm glad that the option was there because whilst this game doesn't rely horrifically on slider puzzles, the fact that... um, I can skip them it was just a great glee for me because then I can focus on the 90 million other puzzles that are in this game to just enjoy myself with. As you go through the game, you're going through this mansion with various different levels on and there's four puzzle boxes on each and you find a fragment that then can solve the overarching hub world puzzle which doesn't act like a box and acts more like an escape room where you need to slot these fragments into place and solve puzzles similar to the box style puzzles that you've got sliders, connect the circuits, match the symbols, um, all of those kind of things and that will then unlock more of the story as you go through the mansion to find out exactly what you've broken into um, and that actually there's probably more going on than meets the eye. You don't have to be invested in the story but there are little um, like notes that you can read as you go through various different levels very similar to Doors Paradox. Now I absolutely adored and loved my time with Boxes Lost Fragments. I had a stupid grin on my face most of the time, followed by the occasional scratchy chin emoji face, (laughs) and I'd flick between the two merrily. Um, However, it would be remiss of me to not say that this game is shorter than Doors Paradox by quite some margin. I was able to complete uh, Boxes Lost Fragments in four hours. I was probably going faster than the average player because I was so engrossed in it. So I'd probably add on another hour, maybe two, if you were getting to the end of it and taking your time. Particularly if you weren't using any skip puzzles or hints. Um, Hints I used a couple of times. I skipped, I think it was two puzzles over the course of the game. So that's why it took me four hours. Now, that is significantly smaller um, than Doors Paradox for a similar price point. However... I would say that the puzzles in boxes lost fragments are bigger and more intricate but they also feel more lavish and spectacular from a graphical standpoint so it's a bit of a yin and yang with that. The other kind of much more minor critique that I have of this is that sometimes when you're trying to peel back some of the um, like latches and things like that Um, the mouse controls feel slightly imprecise and you have to have like three or four goes of doing it sometimes. Um, This probably is just down to me having cack-handed hoofs for hands but um, it didn't really irk me or annoy me it was just I found myself quite often particularly with latches just having to flick things a few times or when you're having to open a door sometimes it just you were like, can I open that? So if in doubt, start mucking about with it and seeing what goes on. The other uh, thing I would say as well is it's inconsistent as to whether you need to turn a key to the left or to the right. So try both. (laughs) But yeah, I had a great time with this game. Thoroughly two thumbs up, recommend it. Enjoyed my time immensely. Whilst it is short, it is most definitely sweet. And I'd recommend if you like The Room and you haven't tried these games and prefer an easier side to puzzle games so that you still feel brainy, uh, but still have to invest some noggin in the decision, then I strongly recommend getting the bundle of both Doors Paradox and Boxes Lost Fragments from uh, Big Leap Studios because they are two fantastic games that I absolutely love and adore. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.